Namaste and good evening to one and all. Welcome to Leaders Connect 360's episode LC0117. Leaders Connect 360 is a CSR initiative by Bija Training and organized by the Mass Leadership. I am Janani and I am pursuing my VCOM Honors degree at SRM. Leaders Connect 360 was started with a specific objective of hiring, sorry, inviting 1,000 plus leaders and create a million leaders. It is an online hub where every Wednesday from 6.30 p.m. to 17 p.m. we learn from top management leaders on Zoom. And once in each quarter, we have an offline networking meet to network, support, and grow with the leaders. That's when we call it Leaders Create More Leaders. Currently, all are muted and we will be giving you an opportunity to speak to our guest, Ms. Nirupama Balachandra, Director, Minor Technologies Private Limited, on the topic, Getting the Right Work Done. Before you are unmuted, let me share that we are currently live on LinkedIn, and this episode LC0117 is being recorded. First time visitors may click on the WhatsApp, FB, and LinkedIn link on the chat box to get updated by joining us in creating more leaders. All in the house are requested to turn on your videos, which will help in making the episode highly interactive. So, are we all ready to interact with our guest, Ms. Nirupama Balachandra, and panel discussion leader, Dr. Vasanti Jaisi? Then share a thumbs up or smiley emoji in the chat box. Thank you. Before the introduction of the guest, let me also introduce Mr. Pankaj, managing partner, Bija Training will interact with our guest along with the panel discussion leader, Dr. Vasant Jason. I shall welcome you all. Over to you, Mr. Pankaj. Thank you so much, Janani. Thank you so much. And I welcome all and special mention to Ms. Nirupama. We welcome you, Ms. Nirupama, on behalf of Bija Training and Leaders Connect. Thank you for taking our time and uh, being here for sharing your exper experience and expertise with all of us, right? So before we move forward, uh, we are going to have a formal introduction video for Ms. Nirupama and our panel discussion leader, Dr. Vasanti Jason. Uh, post that, we'll uh, hand over uh, to Vasanti to take the program forward. And just for the information, I would request all the participants to hear what Nirupama ji is going to talk because there will be a quiz, okay? And the quiz winner will be getting a book, which is called The Mass Leadership, written by Mr. Prakash Sharma. So uh, without taking much of the time, uh, I would ask uh, Mr. Arul to play the introduction video of Ms. Nirupama and Dr. Vesati Jason. Thank you so much.
thank you thank you arul for sharing that so uh, formally welcome nirupama ji to this forum of let us connect thank you so much for joining now the topic is interesting very interesting you know everybody says that we are doing a job we are doing we are working we are working we are working right but there's a difference between you know getting the work done and getting the work right done or rather we say the effective way of working basically and that's the challenge today see my my personal understanding is you know over the years now we say we all have might have started working you know 15 to 20 years back right that the you know resources were limited we did not had internet we did not had mobile right but still the productivity was on a higher side but now what i realize is the more we got the resources the productivity should go to the next level but somewhere people are you know limiting themselves so i want to understand is the limitations is all here in the mind basically people have make, you know they started making a hype of what they are working but they are not you know thinking on the way they are working or the quality of work which they are doing so i'm really happy that mr nirupama is going to talk about this particular topic that how to get the right work done right so it also talks about how you know effective we are towards our work so it's for all so i will not take much of the time so over to you dr vasanthi to take the discussion forward with nirupama ji thank, thank you. you so much thank you pankaj you given me the lead actually quality is not an act but it has to become an habit i think sure. you gave me a wonderful lead thank and uh, it is a honor for me to introduce our guest speaker also ms nirupama balachandar she uh, basically based in singapore and with mind mind map technologies private limited So I am Dr. Vasanthi Jason. I am a corporate leader and a trainer, and also a research scientist. So Nirupama, are you going to unfold this puzzle, or how are you going to go about? So let me first of all ask you, what is quality and its importance? Yeah, quality so of work. Before, before I dwell in, I have to thank uh, Mr. Pankaj, Mr. Arul, and uh, Vasanthi, and all of you who have given me this wonderful opportunity to be here. Thank you, Bija Training, Mass Leadership, and uh, all those who have arranged for this whole initiative as such. I really appreciate this initiative. Uh, it is going to be helpful for the current leaders and for the budding leaders, also entrepreneurs and everyone. So it's a wonderful opportunity. Thank you so much. Um, so today when i heard that the topic is uh, quality of work immediately i jumped in and picked up this mm -hmm. opportunity because i know how it is i have been a business analyst for uh, uh, around 20 years in fortune 100 companies so i know how much uh, accuracy and quality matters because i have been reporting and uh, giving uh, data for making informed decisions so if i if my data is not accurate then the decisions in the company is totally uh, gone so I, I really understand the quality of work. So, um, as Vasanthi has asked me, uh, what is quality working? Um, to rephrase this for better understanding, it is quality work that we are discussing here. Quality work refers to work that meets and exceeds uh, client, customer, or company expectations. Typically, quality work is work that meets all deadline requirements. Uh, it meets completion expectations and presents accurate information. so that is quality work if you ask me and it has also other characteristics that come along with quality work which is like uh, free of errors and conforms to the project requirements follows process requirements and has due diligence already done and uh, uses industry best practices and integrates with business code so all this comes along with quality of work uh so yeah so when there is so much involved there has to be some challenges and obstacles on the way so how do we face these challenges or how do we go about these challenges in getting a good quality oriented work i think uh, i also would like to point about importance of quality of work for the employee and the organization before i move on to the challenges so how it helps the employee uh, to progress in his career and how it helps the organization as a whole so uh, once employee ensures quality of work he or she receives higher rating on the employee performance reviews so it directly contributes to their career advancement right and uh, they are more likely to have greater job security because nobody is going to remove an employee who is really performing well 
And uh, when employees focus on quality of work, it also helps in evaluating their strengths and weaknesses because in the process of giving quality of work, they're definitely going to go back and review their work and they can easily find out uh, uh, and better plan the tasks that may be easier for them or maybe that needs more time so that they can schedule their uh, time to complete other tasks. So that way, the, uh, for the employee, it is career advancement, it is job security, and he can evaluate his strengths and weaknesses. Uh, and, and next is uh, how quality of work is important for an organization. Uh, we see that it improves, definitely improves productivity, like what Mr. Pankaj uh, earlier mentioned, that how productivity is being uh, is going down because we have too many distractions, I, I see, especially post-pandemic. Uh, everybody started working from home. So people even started multitasking, even started working in two, three companies, <laughs> legally or illegally. So, <laughs> so there is no focus. And uh, it's um, so definitely it has gone down, productivity has gone down. Um, and by setting guidelines for quality, um, it reduces the number of edit requests or project changes. Employees have more time to uh, give their best to the job instead of doing edits and uh, changes to the project. And it also contributes to company's morale as such. When each employee submits quality work, it can improve the model of the company as a whole. And uh, it leads to a reduction in operating costs also. That way it also improves profitability. If you look at uh, quality work, what happens is if you give quality work, there is no need for uh, uh, there is no need for warranty costs going high. It lowers the warranty costs. It lowers the redesign or reworking costs and the scrap costs. It actually improves overall profitability of the company. So this is in, in terms of uh, the company how quality of work helps. So um, so next comes the challenges that uh, Vasanti was asking about uh, how to ensure quality oriented work in a project or in an organization. Uh, definitely, I can line up about hundreds of uh, hundreds of things as challenges. But what I mainly see is, uh, first of all, uh, the company should ensure that a new employee understands what is quality in terms of the company that he has just entered into, because quality differs uh, in each company. The definition of quality, I mean. So what is your company's benchmark in terms of quality? Uh, you have to define and communicate the quality policies to the employees so that they know what, uh, what the company expects from them basically. And uh, there is also, uh, that communication is not there. So that is one area of challenge. So the next area of challenge is uh, the top management commitment is lagging. Management must be willing to provide the necessary resources to support the quality management system. Employees must be aware of its importance. It's not just implementing the quality management system and never following up, you know. For namesake, you cannot just implement a system. So you have to, the top management has to be committed to implementing the system and also follow up using that system, you know. And the lack of coordination between departments, uh, that is something like we do a blame game whenever something doesn't get done then between the departments they do a blame game so that is something we need to really avoid and as a leader we should know how to resolve such conflicts and uh, there is no coordination then we have to go and double click and see what really happened in there and uh, uh, sometimes there is tight project schedule there's lack of resources there is limited budget and uh, so no benchmarking, poor planning, all these are challenges in terms of uh, uh, quality. And uh, training should be definitely given and lack of training is a big challenge because um, uh, some companies think that oh, training can, be, can take a backseat. That's not the case. Training is an investment. It should be considered as an investment, just like how you hire an office, a rental building for your office. It's that important. So training should be given. And uh, if all these challenges are met, I think quality of work can be ensured. You touched upon many aspects of leadership, if I should say, uh, communication, planning, then how we are uh, educating our employees and how training is very, very essential even for leader. 
So uh, I, I found, find out from your uh, talk that a leader or the leadership role is very important. How can a leader be a very effective person in bringing about a good quality work? Can you shed a light on this, please? Okay, so the first thing the leader should do is implement a proper quality management system in the company, like I always highlighted. And uh, if there are any new quality practices, supervisors and management need to be the first that, uh, to be educated on organizational quality. This will in turn help them to educate the people who need to maintain the processes. So a uh, leader has to first set an example by uh, giving a positive feedback after getting the training so that uh, the people who are going to follow up on the processes will also have some positivity when they start doing the process. And uh, in addition to the training on the new quality practices, management and supervisors also need to know how to implement these quality practices through leadership. So it is not just coming up with innovative ideas for quality and all that. There should be implement, in, uh, implementation also. And um, I personally feel quality assurance is not just for the quality supervisor or quality manager to check that. Uh, each employee should take the responsibility for the work that the task that they are assigned at. So quality assurance needs to stem from all levels of an organization, just by the quality supervisor. And ensure that they equip their workers uh, with appropriate tools, appropriate skill sets and knowledge to el eliminate as much rework and waste as possible. So there should be open talk with the employees. It will help the management to get new ideas because they are people who are doing hands-on on the processes. So we should have an open uh, talk with the employees. And um, investing in educating workers at the beginning of their employment or remove hindrances to quality of work. Excellent. The challenges, I know point about timeline. That always a big challenge we are facing for a bigger, you know, quality of the product. So how do we bring about a fit between both of them? Uh, it's all about synergy. So when I say synergy, it is the ability to handle tight deadlines and maintain high quality of work. It will depend on the synergy between the emotional, cognitive, and administrative skills, not just the leaders, but also the employees. So here are my few tips to handle uh, tight deadlines and also ensure quality control. Uh, the first tip, uh, like I said, it it. Um, it might sound a bit rude, but never commit to a deadline you know you cannot meet. So just because you need to grab the project or you are uh, you are uh, really you're getting pushed to grab a project or something, never commit to a deadline you know you definitely cannot meet. And that is a poor uh, leadership. And the next thing is once you have committed to a deadline, always meet it because that is trust factor. Some company or client has, in, has entrusted the project to you or uh, development of a product or service or anything it may be. Once you have committed to that deadline, you should always meet it. And then uh, planning and time management, like you said, are the key factors. So what I would say is if it's a very huge task, you break it into small manageable ones and uh, also ensure uh, milestone deadlines for each of them. Even if they are smaller tasks, you have to assign deadlines for each of them. And uh, if that can be followed up, it's very easy to automatically contribute to the final deadline or the, or the larger larger tasks. And, uh, and I also, as I already mentioned in the beginning, consultation is the key uh, to meeting deadlines and delivering good work. And try to focus on one thing at a time. And uh, multitasking is definitely a bad idea. And uh, you have to equip every employee with a Six Sigma course. Um, it actually is called Lean Six Sigma. Uh, so you, you can do the basic course at least and also implement a Sigma trust methodology in the company. It is really useful in uh, maximizing the effectiveness at work and uh, how to utilize existing resources to maximize the effectiveness and how to minimize waste is what it will teach. And uh, that methodology, will definitely help in the company to uh, ensure quality of work, also reduce cost and, and improve on product, uh, profitability. Nowadays, many of the companies, most of the companies don't accept any, any quality less than a Six Sigma. So that is something very critical um, to uh, 
to equip the employees with. Thank you, Nirpama. You actually you gave us a great formula of chunking the task into you know small bits, and you know taking one step at a time. It was uh, indeed a, a real good formula which we have to. I think we have to follow in our lives too. And uh, can you suggest some methods and you know evaluative methods so that we can know how we have to produce a good quality of work in an organization? Okay, um, quality metrics uh, can be like uh, followed up on like for example it can for for smaller organizations it can be on spreadsheet templates or control chart templates uh, cause and effect diagrams and uh, quality management system can be implemented in uh, medium sized or large sized companies uh, depending on their investment uh, for the quality it gives a task based view on the areas to focus and improve and the management might uh, use the quality metrics to review employee performance in areas like turnaround time or customer satisfaction. There are several quality management tools in the industry that we can pursue based on our budget. So, yes, excellent. Thank you. Thank you for enlightening us. And I feel uh, there is uh, Japanese and the American technologies and the people, yes. they yes. have a different form of following quality. Yes, I feel. Can you uh, now that you traveled all over the world and uh, with your uh, experience and expertise, I think you can shed some light on those aspects too. Um, American, I think it is mostly on productivity that they face, uh, that they focus on, and Japanese are like uh, it also. They also focus on employees' uh, well-being. So if you go to Japan and uh, and see, there is this. Uh, these are the companies that cannot just fire a fire an employee by uh, giving them a notice in one day, like how it happens in IT industry. Uh, and then they can just be fired in like one, two months of notice. Uh, normally the notice period is one year. So, uh, but that doesn't happen in the American companies. Um, so we can actually strike a balance between the American uh, strategies in terms of quality and in, and uh, Japanese strategy. Like the Japanese uh, feel that if you take care of me, I take care of your company. You know that is the strategy they follow so there should be a strike or we can pick up the good points from both and implement a, a strategy to manage your uh, employees which will increase in turn increase the quality of work and productivity thank you thank you for giving this worldwide view so that we can implement in our indian society as well thank you thank you once again and on behalf of Bija Training and uh, Mask Leadership, I extend my widespread thank you to you. And uh, it is a great opportunity for, uh, for me and because I love this forum. And especially today's episode, we are childhood buddies. And so it is yes. great to connect with you, Nirpama. Yes. Again, once again, after so many years, though you are based in Singapore, it's been hardly, uh, we get to know each other. So in this forum, I'm able to meet you and you're able to share your expertise on this. I Thank just you. want to end with a quote where Henry Ford once said that, uh, what is quality? Quality is something that you uh, that you maintain and do even when nobody is noticing. The exactly. work that you do, you know, give your best even when nobody is noticing. So that, that should be the spirit. Thank you for enlightening us with this spirit and hope we take this spirit every day, every morning when we get up. Yes. Thank you. Over to you, Arun. I open the forum to you. Thank you, Vasanthi. Thank you so much. And thank you, Ms. Nirupama, for sharing the words of wisdom. And, and there are really certain things which really help me to, you know, uh, what we say, to, you know, second my thoughts, basically. Okay. So mm -hmm. there are really uh, good things and there are certain things which I, we can also implement in ourselves, okay? Because there's always a scope of improvement, even as a leader within ourselves also. And as they say, ki, um, I mean, if you want to see the change, then we need to start the change from ourselves, mm -hmm. right? So th th thanks for sharing that. So now I believe that comes the interesting part. Uh, that's a quiz. So I invite Mr. Nelly Nagam to conduct the quiz of what, the um, you know the knowledge has been shared by Ms. Nirupama and now it has been taken by our audience today. So over to you, Mr. Nele, for conducting the quiz. Yeah. Good evening, and all. Uh, thanks to Bija Training for this opportunity as a quiz leader. And uh, uh, Rumuma, Madam, uh, really wonderful insights on this. Uh, uh, getting the 
uh, right work done and uh, we will uh, try to follow your key approach of yeah uh, try to focus uh, one thing at a time and uh, and improve the concentration and ensuring the uh, deadline and uh, even uh, learning uh, six sigma course and all yes uh, thank you ma'am uh, so let's see uh, who is the lucky winner of this uh, week's uh, quiz uh, so fastest fingers first uh, let's see who writes the uh, correct and the uh, in the chat box then So question has to be asked. Yes, just a minute, sir. Question is posted in the chat box. Okay. Nirupa, <laughs> madam, I mentioned about the few bottlenecks on the uh, quality. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. Let us see further. Oh, answers are coming up. <laughs> Um, you know, the uh, the answer is uh, A, B, and C, and uh, that is a communication and top management commitment to implement and follow, and gap between the departments. So, uh, congratulations, uh, Mr. Silesh Kumar, and uh, winner of this week is uh, Mr. Silesh Kumar. So, congratulations, wow. Mr. Silesh Kumar, for winning this quiz, and you will be awarded with the mass leadership book written by. Uh, the founder of BJ Training and the Master Leadership, Mr. Prakash Sharma. So congratulations once again. So you have this opportunity to unmute yourself, introduce yourself, and you can ask a question to our leader today. So over to the winner of the quiz. Is it there? Yeah, I'm just giving him option to unmute. Please. Yes, Ali, sir, you can unmute now. So, Mr. Shailesh, once again, congratulations for winning the quiz. Might be, might be not in the position to unmute. Okay. Just help him if possible. Yeah, good evening, everybody. Yes. Thank you. Can you hear me, please? Yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yes, Okay. Yeah, thank you. I was also in Singapore. I had just sent a note uh, over LinkedIn to. Uh, uh, Nirupama. I was okay. a permanent resident there between 1997 and there seems to be some coverage issue. Yes, net network issue. Yes. 2016 and I had to relook. Yeah, thank you. Okay, okay. that's nice. So, sir, if you have any question to ask uh, to Mr. Nirupama, you can ask a question related to, to today's topic. Okay. Um, how do we uh, incorporate this in uh, in a project uh, team uh, when different uh, team members have different uh, voices breaking, sir? Yeah, there is some network issue with the uh, I think Silesh. Yes. You can you can put off standards. You can put off your video. That's all. Yeah. Okay. That is, uh, I, I got your question. You are you asking me how to implement quality when there are employees with different uh, uh, quality standards or work correct. standards or something like that, right? Correct, correct. That is when I told you there should be this uh, uh, Six Sigma that is implemented throughout the organization that will actually make it work because there are lots of strategies that are explained in the Six Sigma that can made, mm -hmm. be made standardized across the organization. So uh, that is a Lean Six Sigma course and a Lean Six Sigma uh, strategy would definitely help in, in terms of uh, standardizing the whole process. Oh, right. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you, Mr. Shailesh. Thank you. So Thank now, you. Uh, the, now the forum is open for the uh, open questions. So we can have three to four questions. So anyone who would like to ask any of the questions to our speaker today, Mr. Rupama, uh, you can unmute yourself or put your questions on the chat box and that will be answered. So please feel free to ask your questions and post that. We'll have the summary for the day. So it's an open forum for all to ask the question.
anyone can ask question um sir paul raj has mentioned this question in the chat box okay uh, how to improve concentration and consistency what is success formula concentration that is the challenge these days <laughs> you ask in the personal front <laughs> in the personal front i would just say that uh, you need to find ways to focus on eliminate distractions especially the social media distractions and uh, when it comes to office i think many people carry their uh, personal phones and uh, do whatsapp in between and uh, try to communicate with friends and families like there used to be a time when there was no no phones allowed in the office like from morning to evening only in the evening when we come out we used to see our phones that way we could even dedicate the entire time we are in the office uh, for work but now everything is in our, in our fingertips so it is up to us to restrict uh, social media and uh, fully focus on uh, our office work and uh, for uh, bringing concentration i think meditation helps true uh, if, if i may if i may yes if i may coin a word exclude time wasters <laughs> okay any any form of time wasters distractions also so it should be consciously done every day so it should be some kind of affirmation on stuck on your uh, desk or something that i will be doing this and uh, i'll be following this today so uh, constant affirmations constant reminders uh, to focus that would definitely help you have True. to help yourself no i am using i am using time totally investing my energy <laughs> we have to help ourselves in this in this society now whatever we are given with the social media distractions we need to know how to prioritize our tasks how to how to keep our focus that's the success formula thank True. you ma'am thank you very much thank you welcome so any other questions from audience members i am in the traveling so sorry i am not able to ask the question okay uh, yeah there is a question how to find the right candidate for your organization yes give the name yes how to find the right candidate for your organization i think uh, there are many steps to go about uh, screening of resumes is the first point so when we recruit for our company we we collect all the resumes possible and one point we stop collecting resumes and then we screen each and every candidate against the criteria that we have so there is something called a jd right a job description that we hold in our hands and then we just look at the cvs and then we try to match the cv with the jd so and uh, as much of factors as it can confirm that they have then we choose the candidates for the first round of interview and uh, we keep the candidates uh, like whichever right whichever like in 10 criteria if they meet 10 then we prioritize that candidate first for the interview likewise it goes you know and then after the interview uh, we do another round of technical interview uh, and then hr interview and then in these three rounds if we can confirm that the candidate can meet most of the factors in the jd that is when we recruit the candidate okay. Okay. i hope this answers your question yes okay ma'am you can pause it now uh, is there any questions uh, ms priyanka 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 has one more question ah okay. yes priyanka hi ma'am uh, thank you ma'am for the session um, ma'am session was really wonderful ma'am ma'am there is one question ma'am uh, you told about lean six sigma course yes. so ma'am uh, kindly you can help me because in linkedin i have found this course and it is starting from today itself but okay. it is free course so i want to know that the course i want to know that we should do it pay, on a paid basis or free course or which uh, which are the courses mm -hmm. you can help us in knowing ma'am so there are institutes that run the six, six sigma courses and uh, there are top leaders who come and teach the sigma courses if you go to institutes and learn 
the advantage is that they will give you real life, real time scenarios and uh, you'll be able to understand better on how to implement it. If you're going to do a self-learning, of course you can, but uh, you will still not get a good guide guidance yes, ma yes. from the top leaders. So uh, it's better to attend a course in an institute. There are lots available in Chennai. I myself came down from Singapore to Chennai to attend the Six Sigma course. Oh. <laughs> yeah, because I really, believe, I really believe in leaders in India, right? Because they, they are ruling the world. Yes, ma'am. Ah, thank you. Good, good point. Ma'am, it was for how many days? Mine was for two weeks. Two but weeks. You can finish it in one week, you can finish it in two weeks. It depends on uh, the course. There are different levels in the Six Sigma. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so, yeah, you can approach a good institute and uh, you can even ask me the institute I went into. I can I can give it to you. Maybe you can take my email down and then I can we can interact over it off the call. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, LinkedIn, ma'am. Uh, I have connected with you in LinkedIn, oh, ma'am. Sure, thanks. Okay. We'll stay in touch. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Same here, ma'am. Thanks, Priyanka. So I believe we have last question for the day. I mean, uh, Divya is there. So Divya, yes. you can ask the question and then we will move forward. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hi, Nirupama Balachandra. Good evening. I just joined very late. Uh, I, I see that you are a person of very short words. Uh, so I don't want to prolong the question here. Uh, see, when you said leaders are the one who are very interesting nowadays and they are connecting a lot of dots today, right? So in that scenario, if I ask you, who is the leader according to you, right? How, who you call, who Nirupama calls a leader, beat, beat anybody. I'd really like to know what, what makes you think that this person is a leader. Well, leader is not someone who controls people, but leader is someone who guides, who can walk hand in hand and who can be a participative leader, someone who can participate in the daily work of the employees. So I believe in participative management and I don't believe in controlling uh, management. So that's the leader I would, I would just want to be. <laughs> Whoa, that's great. I understand that leader uh, doesn't come with a designation, according to you, ma'am. Because most of us misunderstand that, you know, leader is a position. It comes with a certain amount of designation on top of it. So right. generally, it is not is what, you know, we, we identify when the days goes on, when, he, when we get age better, right? Right. Thank you for sharing that experience. Yes. Yes. Personal experience and what we go through in our career, I believe. Yes, definitely. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Nirpama. Welcome. Great talking to you, ma'am. Thanks, day. Divya. Thank you so much. Very crisp and clear question. And so was the answer, right? So thank <laughs> you so much to both of you. Uh, so now, uh, without taking much of time, uh, I would like to invite our, uh, you know, a summary leader, Mr. Senthil Gumar, to, you know, summarize the session for the day. Thank you so much, Sandil sir. Yeah. Happy yeah. to see you once again. Yeah. Thank you very much, uh, Pankaj, and it was really awesome session. And thank you very much, Nupama, in throwing us light on this uh, key essential factors, uh, which is really the uh, hot spot in a uh, VUCA world. Uh, without wasting much time, uh, uh, let me introduce myself and then take the summary role. Uh, uh, myself, uh, Sandil here, 50 years in this planet with 28 years of uh, experience in a product uh, in engineering field uh, in various industries like Lucas TVS, uh, General Eldrick, Autoliv, and been associated with Daimler since 14 years uh, in different multi-stream role, including uh, HR in upskilling and plan training section of uh, Blue Color Associates. Now coming to the uh, summary role, uh, let me uh, take it up here. Uh, quality means the work which meets and exceeds the customer expectation, uh, which is free of error, confirms to both product and process requirement by integrating the business uh, needs. Uh, second point, what we try to emphasize here is uh, higher the uh, performance, better is the job security of an employee and his career advancement in the organization. Focusing on purpose is more important than focusing on the task. Higher the quality that has been emphasized in the organization, lesser the warranty, lesser the scrap, and lesser the rework cost. Always avoid blame game. Instead, double click to see the ground reality. Yeah. Lack of training is a big challenge because it is an investment and it is not an expense. Quality should be at all level of management across function among the people. 
never commit to a deadline when you see that it is not realistic the once committed ensure that you meet it because you are measured with the reflection of the commitment which is coming up as a trust ensure that uh, whenever you have a complex task ensure that the task has been truncated into a multi uh, uh, sub task and ensure that each sub task is assigned with a milestone so once the sub task are getting done which automatically gives a pay to complete the larger task in a much simpler methodology yeah. ensure that all the employee in the organization falls in line with the six sigma methodology way they work and avoid multitasking in workplace uh, ensure the quality matrix uh, uh, in an organization you either using a control chart or cause and effect diagram to understand the ground root cause uh, and when coming to the uh, working culture of, of a fortin organization follow the uh, uh, concept of uh, american focus of uh, product, uh, productivity and japanese focus of well being uh, so that whenever we try to focus on organization that we need to work uh, always ensure that we strike a balance of both this culture last but not least uh, quality means doing it right when no one is uh, looking as cited from henry ford thanks a lot uh, from our for the awesome session thank you mr sendil did i talk so much i don't know <laughs> <laughs> uh, i thought i was keeping everything short and it's so excellent you summarized everything yeah so uh, before I mean, that, yeah, that's before... what sendil kumar sir is known for ma'am you know he he <laughs> oh summarizes God, yeah. very well you know he is a su <laughs> summary you know expert basically we can say great great Re so good thank you thank you thank you sendil sir yeah thanks a lot so before we end uh, let, let me know if you can uh, permit me to ask one last question uh yeah please sir please yeah see actually when you say about the quality of work in a workplace uh, individuals are really outperformer individuals they since they want to be outperformer as you said rightly they work focuses on the job security they try to do something better even beyond uh, uh their limit to get the things done but when it comes to as a team performing uh, you see that the individual may not be able to do the way that he was delivering as a earlier so in yes. this kind of situation how do a manager or a leader uh, get the team uh, collage or collaborate to see that uh, the focus is on the quality work so that is yeah that's a good question that is where performance reviews uh, help really because you see in a team there will be good performance who can Correct. finish their work in a very short time and also have the ability and the mindset to help others so once they finish their work we can use them as uh, their time the the limited uh, the existing time that they have apart from their work to assist others others who are really struggling to finish their work yeah. but the end of the, the performance evaluation is only for the individual right when he faces his manager face to face he can't come and tell that i have contributed in up up to this you can tell why not you can tell that see when you have when you have contributed when you have done your contribution individual mm -hmm. contribution mm -hmm. and also help somebody else who is struggling in the team as a manager you should know that he has contributed in other ways has gone out of uh, out of the way and contributed for a uh, for the team sake mm -hmm. he has actually uplifted someone who is really struggling in the other side so okay. manager should be able to know all this and also appreciate that mm. so performance review is not just to evaluate your work oh okay like it's performance review is also to know how much you have contributed to the team work okay. right so that way you can ensure that uh, the team also uh, can get some okay. guidance from others who are performing well so tomorrow the person who has got help today might be able to help the other person who is still struggling you know he can set an example for others okay Awesome. Thank That's you. That's what Thank teamwork you. is about, right? Thanks a lot, Dr. Pramod. Welcome. So thank you so much, Sandil sir. Uh, and here comes the last part of our Leaders Connect episode. So I would like to invite Miss Priyanka for the word of thanks, so that she can officially thank our speaker and the guest today. Over to you, Priyanka. Thank you so much, Sandil sir. It was really a well summarization. and we always wait for your summarization sir the point which we miss we always write it down so thank you so much sir and thank you ma'am very beautifully uh, one point said ma'am training is an investment and not an expense this is a line which i like the most ma'am thank you for this beautiful session 
So before me sharing about the next week episode, let me quickly share again the purpose of the community. For the visitors who are attending for the first time, Leaders Connect 360 is a hybrid model leadership community where every Wednesday from 6.30 p.m. to 7.15 p.m., we invite a top management leader from a reputed corporate company to suggest some solutions for our real-time leadership challenges. And uh, today I want to thank Nirupa ma'am for a beautiful session. Now, uh, I'm happy to share our next week guest, Miss Vasundra Tal Talware, the yoga life coach, spiritual guide, Topic will be yoga and leadership on 21st June 2023. As we all know, it is a yoga day, Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. to 7.15 p.m. Registration link for the episode will be shared through social media platform. It is, uh, it's very simply to join a community. Do click uh, on the social media links. It gives me an immense pleasure to thank our guest, Nirupa ma'am, ma'am, and uh, our panel discussion leader, Vasanti ma'am, for sharing the uh, valuable, for giving us the valuable time in sharing your experience. And uh, not the, uh, for the least, uh, thank you all the guests and others in the house kindly accept our gesture of thanking through a medium of thanking a video. We request the new members and visitors to stay tuned till the end. We give an opportunity to introduce ourselves, which will help in making this network a more better network. So thank you all. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Vasanti, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Thank Thank, you. Thanks, Priyanka. Uh, Thank before we end the session, I would uh, like uh, Mr. Arul to uh, share the offline networking meet details, which we are planning in the month of July. So, Arul, you can share the flyer for that and share the information regarding the offline meet for July. Yes. So, uh, our next uh, Rocket Goals meeting is happening on uh, in Bangalore which is called Rocket Goals 9.0, which is happening at Sterling Mac Hotel. And it's happening on 8th of July, 2023, Saturday. So nominations and the registration for this particular uh, event will be shared in the WhatsApp group. You can join the Leaders Connect WhatsApp group through the link, which is mentioned in the chat box, and we will share you the details. Thank you so much. Thank you, Arul. Thank you for sharing that. And now, Arul, you can proceed with the thanking video, and yes. then we can take it forward. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. So thank you, thank you, Nirupam. Thank you so much. Have a great thank evening, you. and soon we, we should catch up soon again sometime yeah. somewhere. Thank you so sure, much. Right on. Thank you, Mr. Uh, uh, thank you all. Yes, Nirupam, ma'am. Ma from my side, I just want to thank you for uh, accepting to be our guest for the short notice. Thank you so much for accepting. Me. Welcome. It's my honor. Thank you. And thanks, thank Vasanti, ma'am, ma for sharing. Yes, thanks, Vasanti, ma'am. Thank you so much for uh, referring uh, Nirupam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. And I've got the correct person also for this topic, I feel. Yeah, thanks, Vasanti. Thank you all. Welcome. Have a nice evening. Bye. Thank you. So, Arul, I would like